Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, Lost Planet. This is just a video that I've been waiting to make. Been waiting to talk about different things that I found on the internet. And uh, this one place that we're looking at is called Kid Salt. It's uh, a ghost town where the lights are still on, but no one's home. Interesting, isn't it? It's actually in northern BC. If you think ghost town, you probably imagine ruins, roofless houses, dirty broken windows, rotting floors. But at this one abandoned town, Kitsalt, it's on the north coast of British Columbia and you'll find rows upon rows of immaculately kept houses, shopping centers, restaurants, banks, pubs, and theaters, all abandoned and just sitting empty, but untouched and spotless. The town's lights are always on. The streets are lined with neatly trimmed trees, and there are freshly mowed lawns, yet no one has called Kitsalt home since 1982. The town of Kitsalt, near the Alaskan border, situated about 115 kilometers down the gravel road from Terrace, had a very brief existence. This area of British Columbia at the end of the observatory inlet had been mined for precious and semi-precious metals such as silver, lead, zinc, and copper for nearly a century, leading to the establishment for many boom towns such as Alice Arm and Anyoks. Molybdenum was first mined here from the late 60s until the early 70s, but was stopped when profits started to dip. But by the end of the decade, prices were back up, and as many of the known molybdenum deposits in Alaska and British Columbia and the western United States began to deplete, the American mining company Phelps Dodge jumped in on the opportunity. A large swath of land, several hundred acres in size, was prepared for the town of Kitsal and a massive construction project on a scale that has never been seen before in northern British Columbia began. Ships arrived with building supplies into Kitsal's deep water fjord. A gravel road from Terrace was hastily built through the mountains. Engineers and construction workers poured in from all over North America drawn by high paying construction jobs. More than a hundred single-family homes were, and duplexes were built, and seven apartment buildings with over 200 suites. There was a modern hospital and a shopping center, restaurants, banks, a post office, a pool, a pub, a library, and two recreation centers with jacuzzis, saunas, and a theater. Cable television, phone lines were laid underground. There was a state-of-the-art sewage treatment plant and the cleanest running water in the province. It all began in 1979 as a community of workers of the molybdenum mines. Molybdenum forms hard, stable carbides and alloys and is often used to provide hardness and corrosion resistance properties to steel. And, uh, but just as life was getting started in this pristine mountain utopia, the market for molybdenum crashed and the entire town of some of 1,200 residents abandoned it overnight. In 2005, an Indian-born American entrepreneur, Krishnan Suthaniran, bought the town for $7 million and began charting its revival. Since then, the millionaire has poured an estimated $25 million in upgrades and upkeep. More than a dozen caretakers make rounds of the houses and other structures, checking on their conditions and making repairs. They mow the lawns, trim the trees, and sweep the streets. This op entrepreneur plans to recoup the investments by turning Kitsult into a hub of British Columbia's liquefied natural gas LNG industry. The future of the town depends on the success of the LNG project. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's my first ever and I did my best to make it work and uh, I hope to do more in the future I thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe 
and uh, stay tuned for more.